Hello, welcome to the Remember Hour bonus commentary behind the scenes. BTS. BTS track B-roll. It's not even what B-roll really is. Hello, I am Chet Quant. I created this show. And I am America's favorite, Matt Lohman. I wrote some jokes. I wrote some real good jokes for it. Uh, we're going to be watching these episodes. If you, you know what, let's just roll the video. Just go, just roll it. Just roll it. We're good. We're good. You guys can figure it out. You'll figure it out. You've seen commentary before. You probably own a DVD still. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Everything is just digital streaming. You and I are the weirdos who just buy Blu-rays for director's commentary. Director's commentary, and just uh, to fill bookshelves, because I don't read. No, yeah, well, I have Because I'm on the internet watching informative YouTube videos. I had that thing where I organized my bookcase recently, I realized it's all just comic books. And I'm like, it doesn't look nearly as important. Uh, Matt, you wrote this episode. Yes. The Grind. I, I wrote about The Grind because I don't understand it. Now, you might say, that's weird to have a guy who doesn't understand the concept. But Matt understood the concept, but didn't... I don't get it. You don't pre Yeah, it's not even appreciation. Like, I don't understand how it's like, okay, well, you know, in this game, you start and you're just, you're just, you're just murking rats. Right. You're just killing rats so you can get to the point where you can kill wild boars. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know... Halo opens on an exploding spaceship. Like, sure. God of War, you know what the first God of War starts? In a hurricane. God of War 2, you're in a Colossus, yeah. Yeah, on a bunch of boats being attacked by a Hydra. Like, it's... And you, well, here's the funny thing, is that's a good, really good point. And again, because we went a couple places with love as we critique this stuff, but like, the grind is one of those things where it's a weird requirement, because you need to have some progression. You know, the worst thing is, I've seen a few games where they do that for an action, like an RPG or somewhere you level up, like a Darksiders or something, where they'll throw you at as the, you start off with everything. Oh yeah, yeah, and they take it away. And they from take it away. You. It's worse. Yeah, it's, it's even so more worse. frustrating. Yeah, they did that when the Force Awakens, where you're Vader. Oh yeah, and, and then he's you, so cool. And then it's like, yeah. I don't feel good relocking my powers. I already had it. But uh, I think we open with this one just because the grind like makes sense within the world. Sure. Because. You live in a series of tubes, uh, and you have nothing to look forward to. Right. Because outside are just rock squids and, and hurricanes of glass. Michael killed this character, by the way. Oh, my God. So good is Jonathan Drill. J Money. J Money. Uh, um, yeah, it's like what keeps what keeps an actual society. This might be the most yeah. real episode of this ridiculous yeah. puppet show. Because it's like farming potatoes, there's no glory. Right. Unless there's like a progression system where yeah. now you are the head potato farmer. Which, and now you're the senior head potato farmer. Right, which is actually He's, happening in a real thing. There's like all those professors like, I've gamified ratings and like and grades. I'm like, mm, it's like you're saying that, that chore quest I think we talked about yeah. was like getting your kids to sweep and getting five experience points and it somehow worked on kids. It That's still sounds crazy. Evil. But the whole thing is like that a really good game has perfect like rewards based on a little bit of work. It just wants to keep, you just need to just, you just need to tap the endorphin button right, just a yeah. little bit. And I guess that's what grinding is. I think for a lot of people it's not as rewarding because it's, if it's just, you leveled up. Or that yeah. might be an old trick. Now it's, I mean, I'm wearing the game that does it so well right now. Overwatch is like, hey, you played for uh, 30 minutes? You get a free skin. You get a free loot box. Here you go, there's a little piece of candy. I can't play multiplayer only. Too hard? I'm just, I don't have the time to get good. Oh uh, yeah, it's another thing I just too. don't need some cybernetic 12 year old accusing me of buggery online. But the same way is, even if I, I'm not that good, but I keep playing because you get that little reward. Same way they give me these, these sewer system that they live in, in the bunker. What keeps them from tearing their arms off is, oh, I can order points and level up. Yeah, which we are on the set of. Yes, oh by the way, this is the set of the Remember Hours. This is our real puppets. We're here. in the drill so in the itself. Drill. We can activate it at any moment. I, I love this exiled child so much. So, so much. I am a little bit bummed we couldn't get an actual seven year old. <sighs> Sam's in practice. <laughs> I mean, there's, this is LA, there's kids just wandering around lost there's, all the time. I mean, there's more screams than darkness at night. Like, that's, <laughs> what is that? That means nothing. I ate bones, like bone marrow, like, you can. You go to restaurants, they throw bone marrow. We need a kid to say it. Uh, also, shout out by the way to Don Moschiti for the amazing art in this entire series. Drawing the hell out of it. He makes all the jokes land. It's uh, great. Yeah, it's uh, Rash and Skid are the setup, and then these incredible drawings, these upsetting drawings with their, <laughs> with their snake eyes are the knockdown. I think the and it really works. Yeah, was like make it so that a kid drew it, but also maybe a twisted kid who's been who's like 30 years old. Yeah, I mean, look at the teeth. Yeah, look at the. Eyes. I mean, that's what I look like when I work out. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I wish. That's what I look like when I work out. You have four arms? Kind of yeah, I wish. Just Goro. <laughs> Everything is like a subtle reference. We just like took things from it. So it's like, maybe they knew it was a gaming reference? Or maybe it's just, they didn't know. You understand. Uh, I, I think the grind too is like, you've never an RPG you played? 
Was there never like a single one that like hooked you? I went, when I went to my grandparents' house in the summer one time, because they don't have cable, uh, I got super into like Star Ocean 2. <laughs> really? And then, and That's then not as, the one I thought. And then as soon as I got home to civilization, I abandoned it. Um, but I love like, I love the Mass Effect series. But I'm also like it barely counts as an RPG too. Doing yeah. stuff, yeah. Like I'm shooting and jumping and running and sliding. That's why I like Kingdom Hearts because you're rumping and you're running and jumping and best the friend and beast from uh, Beauty and the Beast. I could not get into Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> it's like a perfect mishmash of things that don't make any sense. It's great. It's funny thing is this is somehow the least dark episode. <laughs> yeah, right? I know. Like out of all the things that happened, like. Mike just threatened the camera with yeah. exile. I'm like, it gets weirder. It gets way weirder. I'm also glad we didn't get real kids because I would have to expose them to all of this. If anyone watches this as a kid, let us know. Like, comment, and subscribe. What are you doing? What are you what's, doing? What's, what's your deal Did that we... you can just watch stuff like this? Yeah, where are your parents at? Get your parents what's on the camera. What's going on? What's going on? In oh, the by, the way, by the way, if you haven't, go watch the actual episode. Yeah. Sorry, I should have told you that sooner. Uh, at any point before this point, before the end of yeah, this you might have messed up. Go there's watch. There's actually it. a show where there's not two idiots talking over it. Yeah, go watch that there's one. There's like dialogue. Then come back to this. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, and there'll be more episodes after this. Yeah, we're doing all of them. Goodbye. But hey, Rash, here's what you can expect to level up in two. Ah. Oh yeah, that is a dream. Nobody has that many abs except for me. <laughs> oh, it's gonna take forever. Yeah, at this rate, you'll be dead before you hit level three. Too bad you can't do what I do, honeysuckle.